Now that we've added at least a couple of books and an author to our site, you may notice one thing. It's not actually possible to see the books and the author on our site. What we need to do is figure out some way to actually present the books and the authors to the world. What we're going to do in order to show our books and our author on our site is use another feature of the pods framework that is particularly useful. Normally, if you're building a WordPress site, a lot of the top level menu items are going to be pages. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a page to show the books and any other items that we want to in a kind of blog format on our site. I'm going to go to our pages. I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. And I'm going to call this new books because what it's going to show us is simply the new books that have been added to the site. There is a pods icon just there over the top of the editor. Go ahead and click on this and it's going to create a pods shortcode that we can use to place content into this page. Inside the pop-up item, there's going to be a variety of things we can do. We can show a single pod. For example, we could take a, a book and place it in multiple other places on the site. We could show multiple pod items, which is what we're going to do, or we can start to pull individual fields from individual pods. We could show a form so people could create new pod items. But what we're going to do is list multiple pod items. We're going to get a choice of the pods that we've created, authors, uh, book genres, or books. And we can choose the template that we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and choose the books template in this example. It's not going to work perfectly, but it's going to give us an idea of what we need to fix in order to make it work. A little bit further down the page, you can see limit, order by, and where. These features are going to require a little bit more research and a little bit more digging, but they will give you some more advanced options as to how you can output your content. For example, limit, you could set this to five, and that will simply show five books. Set it to 15, and you'll show 15 books on your site. Order by allows you to sort the output based on certain fields. For example, you could sort by author, descending, or author, ascending, and so that will sort the content based on alphabetical order, either uh, descending, A to Z, or ascending, Z to A. I would recommend that if you want to dig further into using essentially what our database queries here to show your content in more unique ways, I would head over to the pods website at pods.io where they have a lot of details on exactly what you can do with the shortcodes that we're creating right now. They have a page on shortcodes in their documentation. Documentation is a top level link and you can find more information on how to run these extra queries. We're going to use our fairly simple example right now. We're going to click on insert and you'll see the shortcode placed into the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update and I'll go ahead and view the page. So there we have designing with web standards and there we have don't make me think underneath. You'll notice that one thing is missing. At the moment we don't have the title of those books. That's because we're using the books template that we used for individual pages and the title was already provided. So in order to make these look really good, what we're probably going to do is choose only some of these items rather than the full content with the publisher, the publishing date, the author, the cost, the image, the reviews and everything else. And we're going to make a shorter and simpler template that we can use for blog pages and we'll include the title. 
So a very quick view of what that will look like. We'll go to our dashboard. We'll go to the pods admin. We'll go ahead and click templates. And we have the author template and the books template. What I'm going to do to make this easy is click edit. And I'm going to copy and click add new. And I'm going to paste that into there. And I can remove an awful lot of these items. And I can also add the title. And this is going to be at least an H2 tag, I would say, at the top of the page. So pulling down books to use as a reference. There we have post title. And if we wanted to, we could also do something else like this. We can include the title and the author in the heading. So what we actually are producing for the blog is going to be distinctly different from what we show on the main page for each book. So I'm going to call this book, books, blog, template. And if I go ahead and click publish, then I can go back to pages. I can edit new books. And I'm going to change this from books template to books blog template. I'll click update and click view page. And now we have the title. We have the publisher, the publishing date, and we have the book underneath with the title. And if you remember the GUID trick that we used to make a link earlier, what we could do is go back to our books blog template and using the GUID item, we could place a link around the titles so people could click through. But hopefully what you've seen here is that it's relatively easy to place pods items onto a page using the shortcode. And it also ends up being considerably more flexible than some of the things you can do with posts and pages without the help of the pods framework. And if you do want to finish this process off and actually make it easily visible for people to see these books, you can add it to the menu. If we go to the dashboard, if we go to appearance and menus, it's just going to be a normal page. We can click it as add to menu, we can click save menu, and new books should be visible as a menu item on our site.